like my mother, she was just good at stuff. Because I was like, you know everything. They know everything. I'm like, how did you know that? <laughs> how did you know that? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. What was that? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Peggy dance? That was the Peggy dance. You got to do it the arm. Oh, okay. I, I ain't do the arm. Welcome back to the channel. Okay. Anyway, guys, uh, today I am going on a Target run. I just want to see what they have in their camping section. You know, it's, I don't want to wait till the last minute and start, you know, building my stash. I want to do a little bit at a time. So I'm going to just go because I've never looked at Target camping section. And I looked online yesterday and it looked like they had quite a few things that we could possibly use. But yeah, I want to see it for myself. Okay. So I'm going to go through there and look at that. And then... Oh, I don't know what else I'm going to do. It's a twofer because Donald needs to go to the VA this morning. So it's right in front of Target. So he's going to drop me off. So we're going to do this trip solo dolo. Solo dolo. And plus my daughter had the cutest Whitney Houston t-shirt on the other day. And she was laughing about her wig. And she was like, man, they know they don't have to do Whitney Houston like this. <laughs> Look at this wig. But the shirt was super cute. So I'm going to see if I can find that shirt before I ask her to mail it to me. Because, I, you know, we love uh, Target's t-shirt. Target got... This is a nice walking path. Yeah, see... It is just... this the other side of the uh, graveyard? No, no, no. That's a oh. totally separate walking path. It's close to the golf course. Well, why hadn't we come here? And I go, my friend, she don't even know me. We could be walking <laughs> together. Yeah. See, they, 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 they've done some uh, maintenance over here, so it wasn't this clear before. It sure wasn't. They cleared the path. We just talking like y'all could see this. <laughs> but they have actually pushed, you know, how the grass grows, the brushes, it's called brush. Yeah. It's real high, and you can you couldn't even see the path. But somebody has come through here and cleaned it up. It's now a two-lane highway. And it crosses across here. It crosses and goes. Okay, so we're going to take this path tomorrow, player. Okay. That's oh, one. and it goes across the street over there. Right to the, right okay. to the golf course. So, y'all, hey. We, huh? No, don't talk to me. But I thought you were saying <laughs> it go right here. Oh, across oh. Across the street. Oh. It goes in. Oh, okay. But, see, you have to be careful around these parts because there are alligators. There are gators. And there are so many different bodies of water around here. Yeah, I know I'm scared of everything. I don't well, want to be I think alligator way. counts is something you should be wary of. I think alligators count. <laughs> yeah, it should, but I'm just like, because the one on Fort Stewart, like Donald gave you guys a tour of the RV park on Fort Stewart. Mm -hmm. And while I want to go, I'm just so afraid because the men were out there golfing in the middle of the military base. And this big alligator, I mean, they had to be, what, 11, 12 feet it was, tall? It was probably like 7 feet. Uh, uh, it looked bigger than that because they took pictures of it. He yeah, looked huge. It was big. It was, it was and big. he just come out of nowhere. He walking on the golf course. Just, and they still golfing. I'm like, y'all crazy because I'd have ran like that thing was Godzilla. I'm just, I can't do it. I can't do it. Wouldn't that be our luck? We wake up one morning, it's an alligator just sitting outside. Now, I'm going to tell you this. When we was at Kings Bay, I didn't tell you this, but every morning, I would make sure I was the first one so I could make sure I check up under there. You told me that. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. To make sure there was no alligators around in the area. We'll stuff. just take some moth balls and spread them up under our... Uh... Okay. Now, I hear that moth balls burn reptiles' eyes. Now, okay. I don't know how... Big the reptile. I mean, because he could probably walk past that stuff and come and smack it and be like, "Oh, you thought you was doing something?" So I'm really finna get you, Peggy. <laughs> the venom in the alligator's voice, right? Peggy, right? That's an ornery alligator, boy. I'm telling you the truth. It's just like <laughs> my experience in Georgia has not be uh, has not been as good as I wanted it to be. So, 
I know a lot. I thank a lot of you guys for telling me about the tabletop ice makers. I went to one Walmart and they had one, but it was already open, like somebody had been messing with it. So, of course, I wasn't gonna buy that one. So, I'm just gonna see what Target has. I see, I don't like Target because you go in Target to spend five dollars and you end up spending 40. Like, I don't like that about Target. <laughs> I don't have that problem in Target. Well, not even 40. I mean, well, I say 40 for Donald's sake, but you go in there to spend five and you come out spending 100. And that's just the truth. I go in Target to spend eight, I spend 850. No, At he go, Doug, Donald go in Target to spend eight and spend six fifty because <laughs> yeah. he found it on sale. <laughs> it I is. wish I could be that way. Oh boy, Peggy sent me into the store to buy four items. Guess how many items I'm coming out with? Four. That's it. I don't shop. I buy. I'm tired of shopping myself. But anyway, y'all, um, <laughs> we are just excited about possibly being back on the road really soon yeah. i was hoping that we could get some camping out this weekend we're going to go by camp world because they're not answering the phone yeah. and they're ignoring our calls again yeah. so we're going to just go by there that that seems to be the only way that you can get in touch with these people is to actually do a face-to-face -face. and i just keep telling donald i could kick myself because when we were in arizona they were like, sure, bring it on in and we'll start working on it today. Now, they might have kept it for at least a month, yeah. but this place here, we should have knew. We got bad, I got bad vibes in the beginning because they were like, well, we can't see you until such and such day. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, so we bring it in, but how long will you keep it? Well, it's going to take us a couple of weeks to look at it. We gave them a whole month. Then we called and they were like, oh, we fixed all the major parts. I'm like, so it hurts to call people and say we we worked on it. We did like just keep in touch with people. You don't even have to call me. Send me an email or something. Yeah. You got all of my contact information and everything. I'm just like I I find it weird that they their customer service is just not. Well, we talked about this in the last video. Customer service is just not what it used to be. If we could get the RV this weekend, then we could go ahead and put her on the road this weekend, you know, test drive her, put the awning out, oh, yeah. and, you know, just really go camping. Now, I'm going to tell you what we really need to do, but I want to upgrade before we do it. I, I mean, because I was thinking, I'm like, if we go down, when we go down to uh, Fort Stewart to go camping, mm -hmm. they have the best bike path ever, because when we lived, when we first came back to oh, the States, yeah. uh, Donald bought me a little uh, pink bike. I used to call her Pink Lightning. And while he would be at work all day, I would go for my bike ride in the morning by myself. And it was such a nice bike ride, but it was scary at the same time because part of the bike, and I, I'm gonna show you guys this when we eventually get down there to go biking. But part of the ride takes you through like an enclosed area and it looks like wetlands or something it yeah. looks almost like a, a wilderness a forest or a wilderness or something like yeah. that and i was riding my bike through there and it was a beer a deer mm -hmm. i guess you would call it a buck buck he was just standing there and i was like i stopped at first because i was like oh he finna get me I was like, please, Mr. Deer, please, Mr. Deer, don't bother me. And I was getting ready to turn back around because I didn't know what to do. I didn't want any sudden movements or anything. And when I got off my bike <laughs> to turn around to go the opposite way, then he took off. So then I was able to ride my bike back through there. But I loved that bike path. It has to be at least three miles each way. Yeah. So that would be a good bike path. But I said all that to say, that we do need to invest in electric bikes because when people see us on our bikes, they like, uh, y'all too old to be manually <laughs> pedaling these bikes. Uh, y'all ain't gonna get no electric bike. And I'm like, at, at first I was like, I ain't paying no $700 for no bike, but right now your girl is willing to pay. Yeah. But <clears throat> I'm not doing anything extra until I get my upgrade. Okay. And that's just that on that, okay? just that so anyway i'm gonna go inside target you gonna give me some front door service sure will, baby. all right and i will see you guys inside oh i need a mask i took my green mask in the house yeah. oh. gotta have these masks oh 
off this guy. Makeup. Yeah, we got masks everywhere. We got masks everywhere. I ordered them by the ton by on the Amazon. By the hundreds on Amazon. I keep... I need to buy some gloves. Alright, fam. See you inside. They have the cutest little things for Valentine's Day. How cute is that? And it's five dollars. blue but it's actually like a mint green and then it comes in blue huh. I hold on to this for a second Cute. you cannot go wrong with a nice hoodie their hoodies are $24 this is a really cute mustard color but you can't really see it I don't know, the light seems different in here. So Target doesn't offer much. We have some really good chairs, so we are not looking for chairs, but look at these. my eye and I'm like where how would you play this boy 
Barbara Streisand. I want, how would you play this? Super cute. I'm gonna have to talk to Donald about that purchase, but I like that. I don't know if it's even necessary or not. So they finally did something good for men on Valentine's Day. Well, they got three cards at least. I just think these are super cute. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get down with one. Right, look, they got more. Romantic for him, husband religious. How super cute. Now, guess which one I'm gonna get him. All right, guys, I found him. So, that's not the right price. This is wine fridge. So I'm assuming that's this one. And this one is on sale. Well, not sale, but this one is on Amazon for $99. So, $39. Oh, the Frigidaire is also $139. So they're both $139. But I'm going to go ahead and save that $40 and get the one from Amazon. Hey fam. Hey, what's up? So, I finally got around to what I was in the store for. And they do have some good things in there. Target, I'm telling you, is just a setup. Target is a setup. But I was strong. I held it in. I did. I only got coffee. There you go. I was their camping section is much to be desired. I would guess that, yeah. But they did have the ice maker in there. The thing about the ice maker though is it's forty dollars more than Walmart, and it's the same brand. Wow. Because uh, theirs is one thirty nine, and Walmart's are ninety nine, and I've seen them also on Amazon for ninety nine. Okay. So that's the only reason why I didn't get it out of there. I could say it at little forty dollars. Yeah. You ever been to uh what's the name of that place right there? On the corner, what is it called? Outdoor, Outdoor World. World, yeah. Oh, uh, Roseblock. Outdoor World. The only time I've ever been to Outdoor World is when Trey needed sports stuff out of there. But 
that place only makes sense. But I would think it would be like going to a camping world. I would think the prices would be about the same. Oh, no, so. it's pretty good. I found my folding stoves there when they were still $5, and everybody else was oh, charging $13 a piece right, for them. That's right, that's right. So we'll, we'll get over there before no. we have a tent. Mm -hmm. Are we going to take our tent? Uh, I think not. we should. Okay. I'm asking you, and then I'm saying we should. Like, do you think we should take our tent? I don't think so. There's a lot of space. Right now, we got limited How space. How big is it? Uh, about four feet long at about... But, I mean, how much storage space does it take up? It takes about an eighth. Take is it flat, or is it boxy? It's, like, it's, it's, a, it's boxy. Okay. Yeah, it's boxy. We only used it, to be honest with you guys, we only used that tent when we were in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. And that's because the guy next to us, we didn't even use it to keep the mosquitoes away. We were keeping the flies away. Mm -hmm. You remember that guy that parked next to us and he had like a thousand flies inside his camper? Oh! I had never seen anything like that in my life. He had at least a thousand yeah. flies in his camper. And he was like, I don't know what happened. I never had that before I came here. I'm saying to myself, well, I don't believe that. <laughs> but, cause he wanted to use our bug our zapper. Our bug zapper, but he would have burned our bug zapper out. He would have, he would have. And Donald was like, well, sir, cause we, we had left our door open for a second to get stuff to, you know, we were loading stuff in our camper and the flies, from his site was coming into our site. And the reason why I say those flies were in here is because when they moved us back two rows, yep. regular amount of fly, flies. Yep. Yep. It was like not a big, not even a big deal. Yeah. So I think, I really think it was him. But anyway, um, today is Taco Tuesday. Now we found a little restaurant downtown, right? Mm -hmm. Really nice restaurant, but I think we should go there like on a Saturday night because, you know, uh, Savannah is jumping on a Saturday night. Yeah. And it's on the river. Is they, Do they call it the River Walk? It's called uh, River Street. River Street. Yeah. So, but anyway, like they sell these cute little shot glasses of uh, tequila mm -hmm. with the small little tacos to go on top of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that that would be too much for this time of day to be taking shots and drinking and having a good time. And plus, we're going to try to link up with some of the people if they're still here. Because, you know, with military, you're here with these people for three, four years, and then you come back and everybody gone. Yeah. And I just ran into one of the ladies that I used to work with. She wasn't so nice, so I kept going. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do it. I can't be like, girl, how you doing? When you know you was mean to me. <laughs> but anyway, um, we're going to have Taco Tuesday in the car. Taco Tuesday in the car. Taco Donald Tuesday. got a box. What you get in your box? I got a Cravings box. I'm, it's, I think I have a Chalupa box. Uh -huh. So, a Chalupa is basically some sort of Large to tea shell of, that's like fried. These taco shells are delicious. The Dorito Locos. And then I got a Nacho Bell Grande. So. I remember when they used to have green onions on them. I thought that was only on the pizzas. I got rid of all the green onions. I know, but I, I only remember seeing it on the pizzas. Oh. So what happened with that? Why did, why did they, do you know why? Like what happened? Mm. Yeah, I, so, go ahead, babe, I'm sorry. I don't think, they weren't storing them correctly or something. I don't know what it was. So did somebody get sick or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I, I never knew the reason why they got rid of them. But anyway, guys, uh, as I was in Target, I showed y'all that they did have men cards and stuff now for Valentine's Day. Oh. So they had uh, five different ones. And I was like, oh, look at them, including the men, finally. <laughs> you know, including the men in Valentine's Day. <laughs> but I told Donald, because Donald and I have not celebrated a really good Valentine's Day probably in a couple years. Mm -hmm. It's been at least a couple years. And and keeping up with our 
Donald is going to date me. We are going to purposely celebrate Valentine's Day together. Mm -hmm. Like something, not like we, we're not going to go all out with gifts and stuff like that, but just I feel like if we have a nice dinner and come back home to wine and Netflix and chill, something like that, I think that would be super cute. Oh, yeah, that's the plan. So, because I always tell him, I'm like, oh, you don't have to do it. But then I don't fall when, I, when he don't do it, I'm like, you could at least got me a card yeah. or something with the neck roll. You could have got me something. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, I'm not gonna say that anymore. But I want him to. Pray. Now we not. I'm. I am doing it because it is Valentine's Day. But I just think it's super. Cute. It's cute. It's cute to me. Y'all might not agree, but I just want to do it. Do you remember our very first Valentine's Day? Yes, I do. What do you remember about it? Uh, you. You deliver, yeah, a lot of gifts. Deli well, you was intended to have a lot of gifts delivered, but you ended up bringing them most of them yourself. Mm-hmm. And paid went all out. Well, I'm going to tell you why I did. This to turn into a mukbang, y'all. <laughs> so, Donald and I started dating in January of 2006. Mm-hmm. We got married that same year. Yeah. Right? So, you know, and getting to know each other, because he dated me the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like, our first date was at a coffee shop so we could sit down, talk, and get to know each other. See if we had things in common, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. our, our first official date was that. Mm -hmm. And... He told me about his background. He grew up Jehovah Witness, so he didn't celebrate holidays and stuff like that. And I knew Valentine's Day was coming up. So I'm just like, so how did you feel about Valentine's Day? He said, oh, it was never a big deal to me. I just, it was okay. So my thought was, okay, I'm going to really reel him in. He ain't never had a Valentine's Day. So let me get this man together. So I went to the store and I bought everything I thought he wanted because I had a plan, right? Mm -hmm. So it was just an office full of men at the recruiting station, ladies. Where I was working. Where he was working. So my plan was to get all of my nieces and my little sister-in-law to bring him a gift every hour. I had it laid out perfectly. Okay, this hour you go, and I'm like, the girls are going to get cuter and cuter. The gifts are going to get bigger and bigger. <laughs> and then the last one would be me. Everybody flaked on me. <laughs> Everybody flaked on me. And my son, because I had my son's girlfriend, I had three different girls that were going to go up there. And, you know, and I just thought it would boost up his ego because the girls were young and cute. <laughs> and I was like, and I want y'all to wear cute clothes and go in there be real girly and cute. I just thought that would be super cute. He wouldn't have thought nothing of them, but the guys would have enjoyed it. Exactly. The guys would, would have been there, happy about that. Nobody showed up. And I mean, I had made plans. I had all these baskets made. And so my son's girlfriend, she was like, I can still do my turn, but ain't nobody. What, what are we going to do? I say, well, all we could do is just go up there and take him all the stuff. And I was kind of disappointed because I wanted to, it to be big. It, it had potential. As soon as I went up there to deliver it, now everybody called. But anyway, I delivered all the stuff up to him and everything. I'm not going to go into great detail because I've done that so many times before. Unless y'all want to know, then I'll tell you another time. But anyway, <laughs> and I just thought it was going to be super cute. And so we ended up at St. Louis has a, it's a Harris Casino. Mm-hmm. And my friend would get all these free hotel rooms. And so what we were going to do is we're going to go down there and, and gamble a little bit and have the dessert at the Harrah's little bakery shop. And then we were going to end our night, spend a night at the hotel just having fun. We we're going to drink, laugh, just have fun. He got called into work. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't stay. And I was just like, this was the worst. <laughs> I was trying to, you know, I'm trying to get him to start celebrating the holidays with, you know. Holidays. In her head, it was the worst. But to me, it was like, I have never been with anybody who put any effort, any kind of real effort into any aspect of trying to make me happy and stuff. And that's been Peggy's thing. She was like, she was, she was a great, great dater. 
So Ooh. great, great. We we did things, you know what I'm saying? We spent time together. It didn't have to cost a lot of money. Every mm -hmm. once in a while she would want to pay for something or whatever else it is, just so we'll be able to keep going out and doing something and yeah. everything. And so it was just it was good times. I we we I didn't good. know the I didn't know the whole plan. So to me, I was just like, man, this is a good day. <laughs> I didn't know what the whole plan was at the time. Mm -hmm. She told me after the fact, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be this and it was supposed to be that. I was just like, well, baby, I appreciate it, but I had a, I had a great day. Mm -hmm. And the guys thought it was funny. They were like, what you do to that girl? I was like, boy, I, I had people were looking at me like, man, this guy is the man. <laughs> like, what did you do to this girl to make her do all this? Yeah, because they didn't get nothing. No, nah, guys don't. The guys don't expect to get anything on Valentine's Day. Well, you could at least get a card. But I don't know. Like right now, we wouldn't. No. But I just want him to do it this year. Next year, we probably won't do nothing. Hmm. Or maybe next year we'll be. Who knows? Hey guys. What's up, fam? So look what I found. Look what I found, guys. The Vicks Vapor Inhaler. Can y'all see that? Oh, it's all up in your face. Bam! <laughs> in your face. Bam! <laughs> I found it! Uh, That's a throwback right there, boy. Now, this is instant relief. I'm telling you, like, I got, like, a cold sore over here coming up. I'm just like, what is going on today? So I don't know if this is going to work for a cold sore or not. Can y'all see that? But it's made by Vaseline, and it just says advanced healing. And then I got Old Faithful Blistex. There you go. Because I'm getting a little cold sore over here. It was real itchy yesterday, and so I was scratching, scratching. I was like, oh, don't do that because you're going to make that sore come. And that's what I did. And I'm going to tell you what works. And y'all, I don't know if I told y'all this before, but it works like magic. My mother told me this when I was in the sixth grade. And I was oh. like, that's disgusting. <laughs> I am never doing I remember that. you telling me this. But when I, I, I had a cold sore and it just wouldn't go away. Like I kept digging that and trying to pick it off and stuff. And she said, the best thing for you to do is just get earwax out your ear and rub it on that cold sore. I promise you. After about a day or two, it dried completely out. My earwax. <laughs> earwax is disgusting because you know you end up tasting it. But I put it on right before I went to bed one day because it was just getting bigger, bigger and uglier because I kept picking with it. Mm -hmm. And it dried out. And by day two, it was like almost completely gone. And I was just like... Who to thunk it? Like who did who that? Who tried it first? Who, <laughs> who was the first person? Who did that? Who was the first person that just who did that? I don't know who did it, but I think it actually works. Like I like old wives' tales when I can get them. Like that's why it's so good to talk to you know the elderly because the elderly, our senior citizens, because they have lived life and they could tell us stuff that just we don't know we're not wise about it like we don't treasure older people the way we should because they are a wealth of information yeah i remember when i was little i i stepped on some glass and got some glass stuck in the heel of my foot and my mom called her mother my grandma mm -hmm. and she told them to put i think it was a potato a slice of potato up against my heel inside the sock and wrap it up and the next morning there was glass in the potato. Glass wow. came out of my foot, out of the heel of my foot, into the potato. What? I'm like, who, who was the first person who did that? And how do you hold on to all that knowledge? <laughs> but it's crazy. That is crazy. What no, that? I'm sorry. It wasn't potato. The potato was for the fever. It was a piece of fat back. That's now, what that I've heard. That's what it was. The, yes, it was a piece of fat this back was on yes. my heel. Yes, I was about to say I've heard that before because the girl downstairs. This is so crazy, y'all. <laughs> but the girl downstairs from us, she stepped on something. I don't know what it was, but she would put fat like I think she had a really 
big piece of bacon fat. Yeah. And she put it on there, and it, I, I've heard of that before. Yeah. The potato was, I, I was, I had a fever, and uh, my grandmother again uh, put a potato with some stuff on it in a bag and put it on, in, inside my pillow. Woke up in the morning, the potato was shriveled up, and my fever was gone. So it was just like. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta understand that my family is from the deep, deep side. We talking about like it don't matter that information <laughs> travels. You know what I'm saying? Like my mother, she was just good at stuff because I was like, you know everything. They know everything. I'm like, how did you know that? <laughs> how did you know that? Yeah. That, that knowledge might get lost or something. You know what I'm saying? I know that's why it's good to talk to older people, like to get that information. Now we just go to the doctor for everything. Go to the doctor for everything. Man. But anyway, fam, uh, we was just <laughs> stopping in today to say, hey, it's Tuesday. You know, our drop schedule, if you didn't know, our drop schedule is look at me like I'm really cool. So we're going to drop a video. But our schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's yeah. what we're going to right now, our schedule. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. So look for a video those days. There's going to be some big changes coming up when we do go full-time RVing. And I think there's awesome changes. Mm -hmm. And I think you're going to like them to the channel. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, um, we will see you in the next video. All right, thanks. thanks for watching, fam. Remember to tell a friend, tell a friend. We're trying to grow the channel. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already done that, next time hit it on the way. <laughs> on the way in. On the way in. Hit the like button. Don't forget to comment. Subscribe. Turn on your bell notification so that you'll be notified each and every time we upload a video. And we're like again, we're trying to grow the channel, so we want to get people that are going to actually watch the videos. Numbers to me are not important. I want people who are going to actually comment and talk and be a part of our family, right? Exactly. So we're trying to grow our family. There okay. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on Thursday, fam. All right, fam. All righty, bye bye. Thank you.